right. Um, it'd be great to hear from you guys, really. Um, I've got a couple of the questions that I'll drop in in a minute. Um, but does anyone have a question they want to put or a point or discuss? Um, so I think when we were talking about like diversity and stuff, that's a real key point because obviously one of the things that was mentioned was something really basic, like that we need less litter on our beaches. And I think it is really important to think about things that we can start doing on a baseline level that actually upgrades the area on a very basic level. Um, and just a really quick query, because one of the things that always strikes me, I think this is fabulous, this meeting today, is that there's probably, I don't know how many, 60, 70 individuals here. And I'm just really interested who's got ideas about what they would like to do, for example, just in pool. I'm from pool. So if you could put your hand up, if you've got a germ of an idea or something you would like to do, I'm just interested because to see how many people have got ideas. I can remember I was asked to interview. So what what are your big big ideas? Um, and I said, well, the big ideas are out there. And I said, my job is to marshal and enable those ideas. Because we weren't, as Plymouth Culture, a delivery, a delivery agency for festivals, exhibitions, theatre productions. But, but I guess I'm really passionate about the fact that the medium is the message. And I'm really aware that this is a, we're sitting here all looking to the front, and, and I've loved what we've heard. But there are some really creative ways of hosting conversations. And I'd love to get involved in that. We've got a team of facilitators who Work out who, who host conversations that allow the courage from the room to really be heard and the wisdom from the room to really be heard. So I suppose it's easy to do things in the way that we've always done them, and I think this is a real opportunity to do something differently. The Three Towns Project is a political one, as well as an organisational one. I was there last night as a council uh, with other potential candidates uh, for the next election, and their demographic is extremely narrow, and I would I would hesitate to say capital with a conservative C, but the, the, how much of the, the potential um, work that can be done by culture will face an obstacle because of a closed-minded council, which is a possibility. Interesting point. I mean, all I would say is that you know, the council has been very much behind this, and the new chief executive of the council, Graham Farrant, uh, who will be in place from April, um, is you know, a very big believer in the world of culture, and Part of the role of this inquiry is to make sure that culture is a kind of first tier priority. What is important in the inquiry is that there are other anchor institutions who have a good deal of weight and influence involved in this, um, in this inquiry. So mm. I think that's a good um, starting point. Um, and, and there are other uh, decision makers, <coughs> for example, local enterprise partnerships and so on, who have a role to play. So it isn't all about the council, though the council is important and some of those other institutions can also offer a, a consistent um, voice whilst the council might be going through transformation. Trying to nurture that grassroots and create those new artists within an area and also create those people that are going to appreciate that art, not just music but the creative industries in general. Well I mean I just I mean in terms of your sentiment around you know young people and you know emerging artists and support play I would absolutely agree with you place where you say well we, you know what are our common interests and some of us will have interests that, that others don't have so how are we in neighbourhoods because in Bournemouth, Bournemouth has different neighbourhoods, Pool has different neighbourhoods, there are different neighbourhoods in Christchurch. They have as I think you were saying a little bit earlier on in the beginning <coughs> you know, many different personalities, and I think we should celebrate that. If you look at what we could, you know, what we've got in front of us, really, what the assets we have in this area are, you know, we do have a fair number of institutions that deliver art. Thank you. Um, really, really quick point, which I think I would like to make, I would agree with people from school um, speaking about what the culture means to you, and the things that came up were not the theatre or art first, then the fact that we live by the Great Harbour and uh, the Pirates and the heritage and the history of the place. So I think that's really important to know and have some practice on. <laughs>